now for the psychic reading, which I was doing. Okay, I picked up on that she had a sister with her hair, like, waved to the side. And she's a career, yeah, she's a career woman. And, like, she used to have, like, shorter hair and, um, like, still waved to the side or whatever. And then it was, like, a burgundy tint to it or something. I have no clue. And then she said, what? You said what? Um, yeah, yes. that, that was right. And then you have a little brother. Yes. It looks like you, I guess. Yeah. Okay, and uh, with his bangs like that. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Okay, cool. <laughs> yeah. And then I picked up one. Oh, yeah. I picked on that she had a white cat. <laughs> she has white fur on her. So, so. <laughs> That's funny. And then I picked up that, I don't know, I, I might pick up from this, I don't know, if you lived in a studio where you live upstairs or something. Yeah, that's actually right. Yeah. Am I right? <laughs> yeah, no, I actually live, like, in a two-story house. I yeah. live mainly upstairs. I okay. have a little art studio. Okay. Yeah. Don't tell me, because I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> that's cheating. Okay. But that's cool. Okay, yeah, it's like a studio. And then, like, upstairs, you also, there's, like, this little hallway up to where there's a window and a picture or something. Like, it's in the corner, and it's just, like, a corner hallway. It just ends nowhere. It ends to a picture on the wall or something and a window. <laughs> and, like, um, is that kind of true? Like, your room, like, the whole upstairs is, like, your room and you still have a hallway to the other side of the house to look outside the window or something and like all you do is have like a wall you don't even have a door but the stairway like at the bottom of it has a door is that wrong somewhat right i do have a hallway and it's kind of narrow and like my room is at the very end of the hallway end of the hallway yeah, yeah. and then i don't know and you have but do you, do you have like beige carpet no Oh, well, then I'm wrong. I'm wrong. I don't know what the hell. It's got blue, you got blue walls. Yes. <laughs> and, um, do you, and, um, um, okay. Did, did you use, did your grandma used to live with you a little bit? Mm -mm. Oh. Um, well, she's still alive. <laughs> she's still alive. One of them is. Okay, and does she have short brown hair like yours and she has uh, black and black grasses and she's shorter than you? She is shorter than me. <clears throat> um, her hair is more like a lighter brown and blonde though. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, wrong. I don't know anything. <laughs> <laughs> and then, um, um, okay. And does your cat sometimes get on the roof from your window that you open or something? Mm -mm. Like both hate and afraid of heights. Okay, well, do you have a window that you open that you can get up on the roof or something? <laughs> I could if I wanted to, but I don't. Well, fine then. Peter Pan does. <laughs> <laughs> Peter Pan comes to your house all the time. <laughs> I have no clue. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm losing it. Did she used to have a red car? <laughs> a red car? Yeah. I don't have a red car. Well, I'm wrong. Does somebody have a red car that, at yes. your house? Yes. <laughs> okay, yes. then. Maybe getting somewhere, maybe yeah. not. <laughs> <laughs> Fine, then. <laughs> um, do you have two garages to that um, house? Just one. Just one. Frick. <laughs> <laughs> and the driveway's not like a hill. It's just smooth, I guess. Is that wrong? <laughs> yeah, it's like smooth. Fine, then. Yeah. So it's not a hill. <laughs> But like, it is kind of like a here's hill. a driveway and then there's a hill in front of it, like back and forth from it. Is that true? No. Then fine. <laughs> I hate the word no. <laughs> well, I'm kind of right with the red car coming to your house. I don't know. <laughs> so confused. My brother has a red car. Oh, that's what I thought. That was the guy, <laughs> and he had brown hair like yours. He's an emo too, dresser. <laughs> Not really. Not really. No. <laughs> it's okay. And he's tall, or than you? <laughs> My brother, we're about the same height, actually. Okay, same height, same length, length, skinny, length, skinny, skinny. <laughs> yeah. Okay, and um, like, does he kind of have an anime haircut a little bit? Like his uh sideburns come down, mm. and his hair is like to the wave too. And <laughs> 
and, ki- <laughs> and kind of long in the back. I was thinking boyfriend, this yeah. guy. And his nose is kind of big. And he's pale. He is pale, yes. But his nose is not kind of... I guess he has a little bit of a bigger <clears throat> nose. We're not I mean, massive. It's not, not massive. It's yeah. just kind of... And um, <clears throat> he has brown eyes. Probably my brother. Okay, then fine then. I don't really know. <laughs> But he's but he looks like he has thick hair and it's black ish brown ish. Yeah, it's like a dark brown. Yeah, and then but it looks like it's waved to the side too. My brother does have kind of like longer, usually kind of more swoopy hair. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah that's, what I'm, that's what I'm kind of seeing. Swoopy yeah. hair or to the side, whatever, yeah. I can't tell. Cramming my imagination into this. <laughs> Whether it's a lie or not, I'm trying to find the truth. I'm trying to find out if I'm seeing something or not. I guess that might be, that's what I was thinking, like, boyfriend and stuff like that, I don't know. I don't know, but does the red car person, your brother, ever take your boyfriend some places sometimes, or not? Mm, not really, no. Well, does your boyfriend have a white car or something? No. Well, then I'm wrong. Who's got the white car? <laughs> a white car, I don't know. That'd be my dad. Oh, yeah? Okay. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's a big old van looking thing, or not? Fine then, I'm so fucking wrong. I know all the right directions, but not. Yeah, I just crashed into that one. This sucks. <laughs> but I did get that you had a white fucking cat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, awesome shoes. <laughs> awesome. Pink is the devil. <laughs> and her room is filled with Satan because it's pretty much pink is what she says. <laughs> but her walls are blue, right? Yeah. That's what I guess. Kind of like this blue, sort of. <laughs> but skyish. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> just the random antique house trying to cycle me the stranger danger <laughs> stuff <sighs> okay and uh yeah her 10th house was in Sagittarius Jupiter in Sagittarius in the 10th house lucky expansion famous oh yeah guru <laughs> so groovy but she has Saturn in Pisces in the first house Aquarius Wow, interesting. Okay, here's the video. Okay, I'm going to hit some of you, I think. Okay, so, you're a Gemini, and uh, I asked you, uh, does your, you're kind of like an, a natural t- tan person? Yeah, natural. I don't get a tan bit, but I have a little natural tan. My great-grandfather was Cherokee Indian. Yeah, I'm Indian. I got some Indian in Okay, um... Do you have, okay, so your hair is straight, and it's kind of like a light brown color. It's almost like a dirty blonde. Is that right or wrong? It is. It's brown, and I actually have some highlights in Yeah, I think you do have highlights in your hair. And it's straight and, like, really long. Mm-hmm. Right? Yes. And, and you like to wear, like, do you like to wear, like, a pink hoodie? I hate the color pink. <laughs> Okay. A little bit. Okay, I asked you if you had a like a, a son. And, and you said Yes, I have a son. So I was right. Okay. So is your son actually uh is he paler than you? He's kinda like chubby and he's got a more rounder face and he has like a buck tooth, kinda like, you know, teeth that are kind of uh <laughs> one's bucker than the other. Oh, his braces? Yes. So he used to, when he was little, his teeth were like, uh, different, uh, one buck, one not buck, you know what I mean? Right, that's why we have $5,000 in the braces in his mouth right now, yeah. Okay, and then his hair is kind of like, um, an auburnish color hair when he was little. Yeah, when he was little, it kind of is now, you know, it's changed. So, it's more sun-kissed when he was outside a lot. But when he was little, he was kind of like a more rounder face until he... Is that right? He was quite chunky, but he thinned out a lot. Yeah, yeah. when he was young, like really so young. So when he was young, he looked chunky, but a chubby, husky kid. but when he grew now up, he's 17, so yeah. He's, you know, I'm just picking up on things when he was little right now, and when he was a little kid, he had like a brown jacket or something. I'm not sure. 
Scooby-Doo backpack that he always had on. Cool. I don't know. I mean, uh, and, um, might be what okay. that's the only thing Brown I can think of. Did he, really did he used to have to wait for the school bus? You live out in the country. Did y'all wait? Li did y'all live out in the country or something? Cause, cause it seemed like a really long road where he had to wait for the school bus. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, we live somewhat in the country. Yeah, and, uh, we have a really long driveway. Yeah, that's what it looks like to me. And, and I guess, uh, yeah. Okay, yeah, you're okay. And um, okay, your house was um. I can't tell if it's two story, but it looks like it, it's uh, it's pointy. You know, like one side's kind of pointy, like a triangle, and you can see a big old window. That's just glass. It's long. Is that true? Yeah. And that's oh, what it yeah. and that's what it looks like. And um, uh, the roof color is kind of like a brown color. Shingles. Yeah, like brown and tan, you know? Mm -hmm. In different colors. That's what I'm saying. And, um, and, um, yeah, the lo drive out is long. That's what I'm saying too, but you already told me. And, um, you'll have a dog that's big and, um, blackish with a long muzzle. Um, I do have one dog. He's kind of, you no, know, he's really more of a pumpkin color. Okay. Actually, I actually have two. Well, did you use that? Did you used to have a black dog that you caught in front of your yes. house? And it was the black one, right? Yeah. Wait, we caught? Y'all caught it and it was... It feel... Yeah, actually there was a dog. My son was riding his skateboard. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I was gonna... See... Yeah, okay. And the other dog uh, got sick. That's kind of like the brownish tan colored one. And it's a medium sized big dog, you know? Yeah. It was depressed. So Mm -hmm. My son almost got hit by a car, so it's kind of like this dog ran out in front of the road and saved my son from getting hit by a car. Uh -huh. Yeah, I was going to say that too, like, and, and that was actually in November as well, because there was like an actual pumpkin out there too, you know what I mean? And you said the word pumpkin, yeah, but yeah. you had like a pumpkin outside, like a, like during, you know, Halloween, Thanksgiving, it was kind of like Thanksgiving time, because the leaves are, were falling, is what I'm saying, I guess. And it was like small, tiny Halloween uh, pumpkin, uh, Thanksgiving pumpkins, yeah. right? Like small yeah. ones, like baby ones. Yeah. That's what I'm seeing. And, um, um. You know, actually, it's so crazy that you do see those. It's not necessarily just for then, but it's for now, too. I have all these little ceramic pumpkins right now, and I've had them out for Thanksgiving, like in my window fields and everywhere. Yeah, and you have like a, a painted one that's gray colored, like a big pumpkin that's gray colored. And, and it's inside. Silver ones, yeah. Pumpkins. Isn't that cool? And then, oh yeah. Cool. Uh, and, 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 yeah, and your daughter, um, is she like born in April or something? No. no. Okay, okay, is her boyfriend? She actually, does she, she have, have a boyfriend? She doesn't have a boyfriend? Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. But her birthday, you, swear you, you mentioned her birthday because she just had a birthday on Thanksgiving Day. She turned 19. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. So she's a Scorpio or, or Sagittarius? She's a Sagittarius. That's cool. Okay. Um, that's okay. funny. Um, so what can you say? Do you see anything in my love life? Can you pick <laughs> Is that not strong enough for you to get it? I don't know. Do, doesn't your doesn't your daughter answer the phone a lot up and talks about a boyfriend or something? She she does. She she honestly does talk about it. She says, "I want one. I want one." Then some guy mm -hmm. likes her, and she's like, "I don't want a relationship." She likes older guys, she right? Want a boyfriend. She she likes old. She don't want to go out with somebody at a school, is what I think. And she wants like an older yeah, boyfriend. She's graduated. She's had different boys. It's just. She, she says, oh, I want a boy, when she's not talking to somebody, I want a boyfriend. She's just so Sagittarius. <laughs> okay. <laughs>
Well, okay, well, she's not in school anymore, but I'm just seeing, like, the past, you remember? I don't think I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna get unstuck from that, because I was getting picked up stuff from that black dog and stuff. But what about that one, like, tannish brown color dog? It was sick and it was depressed or whatever? Like, it got, yeah. that's what I'm just sensing from that, I guess. Get sick. Mm -hmm. We had to actually take that dog, um, to the vet. Somehow mm. in his eye, and we, he almost had to have his eye taken out. But the doctor saved his eye with intravenous antibiotics. It, it was it the right eye? It was his right eye. I can right see. Eye. Cool. I think I think I can see his right eye. Uh, and it, and it didn't want to look at you with the right eye because obviously it couldn't see out of it for a while, I guess. So it kind of hide it and yeah, stuff. Didn't know for a while. Yes, and that's how we didn't know because he wouldn't. That's exactly right because he would on the ground all the time with his. And uh, paws over his face, and we're like, "What's wrong with you, pumpkin?" You know? Yeah. And, and he's like a pit bull, and he was kind of getting—he never snapped at anybody, but yeah. you know, he was in pain, obviously. Yeah, he was depressed well, and getting weak and stuff, and just well, kind of like you could tell by his energy, he's just really weak and depressed. Like you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like yeah. being he's depressed. Sick. Oh yeah. He, he didn't want anybody to look at him. Yeah, he didn't. He really didn't, he didn't, he didn't want. You know, that he was no, oh, I know, right? He's fine now. He's, he's fine now. Not, right. That's yeah. great. And y'all had staircases. He would kind of, he'd kind of hang out by the, by, uh, the below the stairs. And below the stairs had like tile, like white tile. And then, and there was a rug before you walk on the stairs. Like that's like a red rug or something, a burgundy color. And then on the left side of the stairs is the living room. Is that true or false? Yeah. Okay, okay. The left side of the uh, stairs is the living room, and you had like a big old screen TV or something, and, and it's straight ahead, and then and there's carpet there, like brownish. Oh, yeah, it is. And it's brownish carpet. Actually, it's a patch of tile right there. Okay. It's a patch of tile. Well, the tile is uh, before the stairs is what I'm seeing, I guess. And, and um, yeah. And then you can fall up the staircase and end up in the living room, basically, right? <laughs> And and the, and you, you only have and you can go up to the top and look over into the yeah and you have uh you top. yeah and you when you go upstairs you can go to the left or you can go to the right or go straight and the straight is like the bathroom mm -hmm. and, yeah, that's true. oh really okay and do you have a black railing to go up those stairs I guess it's a mahogany it's a mahogany oh, it's pretty dark okay and then um but. To your left, you know, where you have the living room, there's also a door there to go outside in the middle well, yeah. on the left. And um, there's, um, okay, and then, um, well, I'm just, you know, and then, well, when you go upstairs and you go straight, that's where the bathroom is. And where the bathroom is, in the windowsill, there's like a, pot, a plant, a tiny small plant that has like burgundy leaves, leaves or it's like a red flower or some bullshit and it's a small plant that's in the small window like a really small window is that true or false <laughs> yeah do you see any significance to that plant uh no it's just like a no, I'm just seeing things first. <laughs> you know what I mean? Okay. I mean, it could I be boring, but. Exactly what that is. It's not in the window, but there's a plant up there. Okay, cool. And uh, the plant actually is a plant that my father sent to the funeral home when my mother passed away. Oh, don't tell me that. I was supposed to tell you. That's cheating. Oh, okay, sorry. But, like, at well, first. I'm, I'm, yeah, I can see spirits. I can see spirits just by doing stupid shit thing. like this. A spirits will come because they know that I'm listening and I'm seeing and they'll show showing themselves that that's how it kind of fucking works because you gotta maneuver inside the the realm of just spirit or some shit and that's kind of like astral oh mentally or something and the spirits can come through and they can then I have to pick up on whatever the fuck their life was about to prove that it's them because sometimes they don't know how to telepathically talk you know and so I'll have to pick up stupid yeah. objects and shit from them too you know what I mean and get deeper and deeper into it Okay. I can sometimes I can actually answer questions too because they'll pop up sometimes, but like not all the time. So I'm not there yet. <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, at least I got picked up on that dog, you know, and being sick and stuff, and how it uh, covered its yeah. eye. It was a self, uh, self confident, not confident about it, and didn't want to be seen. And then I saw the other yeah. stuff, and so just getting easy, easing into it, like kind of like yeah, kind of yeah. I, 
Yeah, if somebody's hurting or if they're in pain or if they have a disease, I'm most likely more to travel towards them because I want to help them and I want to hear their story so I can tell it more, you know what I mean? And it's more interesting, you know, and it's more like makes it real, I guess. <laughs> Yeah, it does. Yeah. Um, okay, so it's so crazy that you picked up on that plant of all things, too. Yeah, that's what I'm seeing. And your, your son. And, um. It's like, uh, it's like you just came right up the stairs right to that plant. And your son's younger than your daughter, though, right? Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. Good, I got that. Because you cheated and said that you had a daughter. You slipped that out. And I could have got around to, yes. to that later. I mean, I've got to go one by one, you know what I mean? But it's. It, okay. It's just better to do that way, you know, focus. But yeah, your little one plant, that was cool. And um, you have a, in that bathroom, I've, I'm not sure about this, but I think you just have like a walk-in shower and it's just a big shower with two heads. Oh my God. Is that true? And it's on the left side. And the window's like straight okay. in front of you. And then I think there's a toilet below that and it's facing to the left. You know what I mean? Is that true? Yeah, my husband built that shower. He tiled the whole thing. Oh, okay. Did okay? Is your husband like look really young? And he but he ha used to have a beard, like just a beard. <laughs> oh, shut up! Right? He like, is younger than me. He is younger than me, and he does have a beard. Yeah, like yeah. The, his beard is not fully grown underneath his lip. It's kind of just like underneath his chin. You know what I'm saying? Is that true? So is like your a husband's yeah, beard kind of just grown underneath his chin instead of? When you pick up on beard, he, he has a beard. Yeah, like it's grown underneath his yeah. chin, mostly more there than uh, below his lip. You know what I mean? It's, it's, is that yeah, how? It's, he, he has the full. He has the whole beard. It's yeah, kind of yeah. grown that way. Yeah. And in his, in his, he has a um more rectangular trap shaped face, kind of like a slim face or whatever. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and um. Uh, he has, like, googly eyes, kind of like, you know, dreamy-looking googly eyes. You know, like a, yeah. like, you know, like, kind of like a lazy eye, but not really, you know what I mean? He has really sexy eyes. Because they're googly-looking, yeah, you know what I mean. <laughs> like, dreamy-looking eyes. Yeah, he does. It's what I'm seeing. <laughs> and his hair is really curly, though, right? It's like... Um, he keeps it cut short, but if he didn't keep it cut short, yeah, it would be curly. Yeah, it's curly. It's, like, really... Like, it, he keeps it, like, um, like, it looks like he has, like, hairspray or gel in it, kind of stiff, to make it stiff. Because he does put hairspray and gel in his hair. So. Right. <laughs> and it's still just, like, curly. Because he does gel his hair and stuff, yeah. Yeah, and his, and his beard is kind of like a, um, foggy brown, light color brown. And his hair is darker, and it has, like, little highlights in it, too, kind of. Like, sort of. So he's gray in his beard a little bit. He's getting a little bit of white in his beard. He's a little, okay. Yeah, he's getting a little bit of I'm, get, he's, he's I'm, getting, I'm getting, I'm getting, yeah, he's, he's young looking. Good. I'm getting like the past more than the future yet. You know what I mean? The present too. You know what I mean? Yes. Just because I'm, okay. I'm in there somewhere. And, um, but yeah, I'm seeing him because you said he built it and stuff. And he's like, I'm. We'll be back right after these messages. Okay, cool. Uh, is your daughter's best friend? It's almost like my daughter. My daughter's best friend. I'm sorry. Okay, cool. Is your daughter's best friend have uh, dark brown hair and then, like, it's been dyed because her roots are almost black? <laughs> Her oh. hair is jet black. Okay. Right. Okay. <laughs> Never mind then. I'm wrong. That's why you're seeing the black roots. Well, you got it though. I mean, I understand what you think is the roots are. I think someone had like a leg brace one of those daughters or something someone's friend had someone's friend has blonde hair 
and had like some kind of ankle brace on or something. I don't really know. You know what I'm talking about? And they were at your house. Uh, well, uh... She had like blonde hair and she's really pretty and her left ankle had like a brace on it or something like that. And she... Oh my gosh. And she... I know what you're talking about. One of her really good friends. I, I love her today. And she's so happy. Go she look. She a brace. She is so happy. But recently yeah. her... Uh, yeah, I am. Her leg has been swelling. Oh, and, her left... Uh, his left leg. she's diabetic. Her oh, left leg. Really and she's skinny, right? And she's young. Yeah. Her left one, and she wears high yeah. high socks though. You know, like a ballerina or like an '80s person. You know what I mean? '80s mm -hmm. chick, like those high stocking looking things, or I don't even know what they call like leggings looking things, or like you know those workout socks looking things. I don't know, like Barbie, um, pink, like, fuchsia. I don't know. Like leg warmers or something. Yeah, or, yeah. That that's what yeah. it looks like. What about them? I just think that's what she was wearing or something. No, 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 no. That's what, uh, that's one of the things I'm putting her sock in. It's because her leg's up. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get her some compression socks and put in her stocking. Is, are you getting, like, a fusion, are you getting a fusion color or whatever for her? And a blue one? I don't know what color I'm going to get, but I'm going to put that on my list. Oh. I was thinking, what can I get her this year? Because I try to, when I do stuff for people, like, something really personal and thoughtful, you know? And when we're talking about those, because her leg was swelling, and I was telling her that maybe that would help her. What's know? her astrology sign? Is she, what, what's her astrology I'm sign? What's her astrology? Her, her Scorpio? Is actually, uh, December 17th. Oh, she might be Capricorn or Sagittarius or something like that. I don't remember the dates right now. Oh, that's cool. And she has like yeah, vampire looking teeth. Like she could pick up on like a long sock because that's what the compression, that's what the compression sock is. You know, so. And she. Yeah, we were just talking about that the other day. Cool. Yeah, she's just really happy go lucky and stuff. And she's just really pretty and like her teeth are kind of sharp. Like a vampire? It's just kind of bug teeth? Um, no, I don't really. I've never noticed that before. I don't know. <laughs> I've never noticed that she has sharp teeth. But she, she is very pretty. Yeah. She's a very pretty girl. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, she's so happy. You're right about it. She's just very happy to lucky. So yeah. No matter. She wasn't feeling well. This is so out of character for her. And that's how they found out her leg was failing. And I don't know what that had to do with it. But, you know. Uh -huh. And she loves she the diabetic. dogs, too, and stuff, I guess. I don't know. Oh, yeah. And she's always in the kitchen, though. And she eats a lot, even if she's skinny, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Right. Um, and she likes peanut but She likes peanut butter and carrots or something. I guess she was eating that at your house. Like, she, she is that what she ate? Carrots and peanut butter? She was dipping in the peanut butter or something? <laughs> and her friend? Yeah. She's really picky, so she probably would eat something like that because she's a very finicky eater. Oh, picky, but she'll eat yeah. that. <laughs> That's funny. I mean, she may, yeah, I'm weird. Like, she wants, like, weird stuff, so you know what I mean? Okay. She's picky about what she eats, but then you find out the things that she eats, and it's kind of, she has a weird eater, though. It's true. That's funny. Okay. I mean, I don't know. Let's get back to, uh,. Where am I I'm going? I'm trying to go somewhere. I mean, freak and A. I don't know. Um,. Okay, what about your uh, husband or your boyfriend or whatever the fuck? His, his dad, is he still alive or... And he has white hair? Oh, my gosh. He is aging. He is very... He has powerful. white hair, his dad? Is that right? Yeah. Yeah, he's gray. He's not. His hair's turning gray. He's aging. Okay. Um, hold on. And uh, they're talking about having some kind of inheritance or something, or he says he doesn't really have anything to give anymore, and he has, is he almost in a walker or something like that? And he says, I just don't have anything to give anymore, I just can't, you know what I mean? Is that what he says? Um, he's been really sick and in the hospital a few times, and he's been to the point where he said, I don't think I can do this anymore. That's what I'm thinking that he's saying. Like, I just have nothing to give anymore. I just can't give in any anymore. Yeah. That's sad. Really sad. And, uh... I know. It is. Uh, but, yeah, they're talking about inher inheritance. inheritance or something. I don't know. But didn't he used to, like, be something like your husband? Like, a building stuff and doing all that good stuff and chiropractic or something like that? Or whatever that means. I don't even know what that means. 
Did he used to do stuff like that? And now he's like... My husband does do stuff like that. Yeah, he, he builds a lot of stuff. Yeah, did, but didn't your husband's dad used to do something like that too? Um, yeah, I think he did. And he's more of like a... Um, he's a very productive person, but... Yeah, he's and now he's... Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <sighs> um... He's always like making things happen. Mm-hmm. Healthy. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um... I'm trying to see what's going on. What about my dad? Oh, um, uh, do you have, like, um, your aunt is, um, or your sister, I'm not sure, like, I'm not sure who that is. I'm not sure what that is. I'm not sure, uh, uh, your dad, let's see, um, I don't know, I haven't seen your dad yet. Um, let's see, um... Does he, does he eat cookies or something like that? I don't know. Girl Scout balloon cookies. I don't know. He was eating. Yeah, he liked, he liked cookies. He was eating some kind of cookie. He's really skinny and he's short. Mm, not too, too short, but maybe kind of short for a man. He was like 5'11". Mm-hmm. Yeah, he was like 5'11", 5'10", something like that. Not the tallest. He wasn't 6 feet tall. I don't know. <laughs> It, he he seems fine to me. I don't know. D- do you think he's okay. fine? <laughs> I think he is fine. Okay, I think good. he's fine. Um, he, he did pass away August the 13th from he, coronavirus. He died of corona? Yeah, in August. Well, then how is he fine? What the hell? That's sad. Oh, sorry about that. I think he's fine in the spiritual world. I think that he's totally okay now, you know? Oh my god. I don't know. Did, yeah. Was he wearing like a blue shirt and he was really, really skinny? No, he really, no, he, well, he lost a little bit of weight while he was in the hospital that nine days. Seven days. But he was eating cookies while he was? Little bit of weight. Yeah, he was eating cookies while he was in the hospital. He was eating cookies while he was in the hospital. He was eating cookies while he was in the hospital. He was eating cookies while he was in the hospital. He was eating cookies while he was in the hospital. He was eating cookies while he was in the hospital. He was Oh, yeah, he had full head of hair. Yeah, he has full thick hair, hair and no. it was kind of blondish. Is that right? Mm, yeah, like a light brown, kind of. And it was, was kind of. Outside. All of us, we have a tendency for our hair to bleach in the sun if we're outside a lot, you know? Uh, and it, does he kind of have the same face shape as your husband, though? Um, my dad is about 5'11, and my husband's about 5'10. But your face shape's uh, skinny too. Or no, you said you have a round face. <laughs> like it's round. It's not round, really but it's round, like in shape. You know. I don't know. <laughs> and when you saw that plant, I thought, oh my gosh, because my father had bought that. My mother died. Yeah. Four or five years. And when at my mother's funeral, my dad had bought me that big plant. Does your daughter look more like your mom? You know what I mean? My daughter, yeah, she does. <laughs> um, yeah, she looks like my mom a lot. Uh. And your mom still looked young when she died? Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. She was. And she was kind of heavy or weight yeah. or something, but looking healthy and stuff. And her uh-huh. hair's... Okay. Hold on. Okay, was her hair, like, kind of a little bit below her chin? Kind of, like, onto her neck cut? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and it was like brownish, reddish, a little bit of blonde, but it was more brownish, reddish color. Yeah, it was more uh, dark, with um, a little bit of red tint to it. Yeah. Yeah, it's a, and um, that's cool. But she was always hyper, and her she had like a, a croup sounding voice, a raspy voice sometimes, like she's bossy. And, and stuff like that. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, her voice did start to change. Like, the last couple of years that she was alive, yeah. her voice did start changing a little bit. Yeah. And it's just that she's got a strong personality, and she's, like, hyper. Like, kind of scary, but yeah. not but not too scary. No. You know My what I mean? mom, actually, she was very, very meek. Like, a very humble, meek, quiet person, pretty much. Oh. Um, hmm. I don't know. But like when she stopped talked, it was kind of strong sounding or whatever. Yeah, 
or not. What, so she, when she talked, she didn't sound, did she sound strong, like a strong personality, even if you said she was more quiet? Mm, well, she had, like, if she believed in something, you know, she was very soft-spoken, but, I mean, she stood up for what she believed in also, you know? Okay. Like, if she didn't believe in, you know, certain things, somebody drinking in her yard, if her nephews, if somebody came over and she saw a beer, then she would make them put it away. Mm-hmm. Well, that's good. That sucks that she had to yeah. die, and she was all about her health. <laughs> or something. Well, yeah, yeah, she was, she tried to stay healthy. It's just, you know, certain things happen, and, you know. Oh, my God. Um, One orphan. Um, Mommy and Daddy are both dead, but that's okay. Um, They're okay. I get good feelings from them, you know. Good. And, like, it's so weird, because I feel like... So often, my dad, he just passed away in August, and it just so often just yeah. makes it feel like he's in the room, you know? Yeah, like on the bar or oh. something? Do you think he, do you have a bar, like, in your kitchen? Like, you know, mm -hmm. is that where he sat last? I don't know. Uh, that's where he would always sit when he came to my house. I'd be cooking and stuff, and he would just sit there. He just sat there at the other side of the oh my the island in my kitchen, he would... Yeah, and like, the island, yeah, is it like a brownish color? Mm -hmm. Kind of like a leather color or something? On the feet of the... Yeah, the stool. Yeah. I don't know. Brownish leather color? I don't know. <laughs> That's just what I'm saying. Yeah, I guess. The, the feet. I don't know. I don't know. It's a lot of stuff, you know, but... When you've got that plant, I think that they were coming through. You know, I really think that both of them, because that one plant that you mentioned is what ties my mom and dad together besides me, you know? The plant that my dad gave me at my mom's funeral. Comfortable you know and smiling. You came through my front door, you went up my steps, and you went straight to that plant. Was there, um, yeah. at the funeral, was there also, like, a baby-looking casket there or something? You know what I mean? Like a baby coffin? I'm not, um, I'm not sure. No, but my mom was short. It's weird to she, she, I mean, it was not like a baby one. She was like five feet tall, you know, at the very most. But mm. she was a small person. So was it a small, small cat person. coffin? And then there, and, and the, whatever plant was on top of the coffin wasn't flowers. It was like some kind of leaves or something that were like reddish colored or something do you know what i'm talking about is that false See, what was there uh, yeah it was, it, that was very significant because um it wasn't flowers it was like throughout her funeral and it, it was so weird there was just a whole big story behind the flowers on her coffin that was just a whole big deal that me and my friends talked about for a few days afterwards so it wasn't flowers yeah. or it didn't look like flowers it looked like leaves or something just one. Um, it, there was a lot of greenery on it. It was a, just a lot of greenery on it, and the flowers that were there were like a rainbow. The flowers that were on it, there were different flowers. Okay. And it was just like a little tiny, Come but the whole thing was there. And the thing about that probably is because, uh, I don't know, we just said, like, with my mom passing away, we were sitting outside before the funeral, and a big rainbow popped up in the sky. And we're like, oh my gosh, you know, everybody started crying because it was just, I don't know, it was emotional. You know, my mom had just passed away, my sisters and I. And we're like, wow, look at that rainbow. And all of us just felt like mom was just there with us, you know? Yeah, like smiling and, and stuff. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. That's what I yeah. think I'm feeling. Yeah, like comforting smiling, feeling, just, just smiling. We got to the funeral and it was like, there were so many mentions about rainbows. It was just so weird. I told my husband, I said, if one more person says rainbow trout, say I don't know what it says rainbow, I don't know what I'm going to do. Because we saw the rainbow in the sky, oh, cool. and then at the funeral, my cousin came up, and he was talking to my husband. Is there a guy named Eddie? Do you, do you know a guy named Eddie or anything? You know how men talk, right? Huh? Do you know a guy named Eddie, or am I completely off? Shut up. Good. So there's somebody named Eddie, right? <laughs> Okay. About him? Well, I was just getting that before you said all that other stuff that I didn't pick up on. <laughs> Cheating. <laughs> but I don't know. I guess a guy named Eddie. I'm not sure. And then I lost it. Um, I'm not sure. 
Um, I would really like to know about what, what you feel on him because, uh, yeah. Okay, um, did he have, like, a birthmark on his head or, like, on his temple? It kind of looked like a birthmark there or, like, his vein was... His veins were colored, dark colored, you know what I mean? Like a little splotch on his temple. Mm, probably. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm not really sure about that. About a vein, or let me think. I'm not, I mean, it may, like a splotch, like it looks like a, like a birthmark or something on his. Like an aging spot or something. Probably. I, I don't probably, know. Yeah, I, would, I, I don't know exactly, but I know... Okay, so... <clears throat> Are you feeling anything else about him? Well, is he dead? <laughs> was he dead after the... Was he alive during the funeral? Or, or what? Okay. He was alive during the was funeral? He was alive during the funeral. Was he at the funeral? Like he showed up late? He was... Oh my gosh. Is that true or false? Yeah, he did. He showed I up mean, late? He was in and out, actually. Okay, yeah. He, he, didn't, he didn't do like he should have been. We were all so disappointed in the way he did not stay there. He said, I just can't do funerals. I'm like, uh, yeah, you need to. Yeah, yeah, that was a big issue, honestly. That was an issue with him. It was. Like, like you, like, like you were waiting for him, and like, you're like, oh, he didn't show up, and then he all of a sudden showed up to, towards your right side in front of you? Is that what was happening? Like, right when something was yeah, happening? Yeah, he came in, he, he came in, and like, towards your right side? There, saw my mom, and turned around and left. Right. Yeah, right. and stayed outside the whole time. Yeah, that's what was, it was all outside. That's what I was saying, too. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he said, but, he could, I can't handle it. I said, well, tough enough, Buttercup, you know? Right, but now he's passed away, right? That's what I'm saying. No, but actually, uh, this person that you are, I wish I knew this is a totally private conversation that nobody else is listening because I really would like to talk yeah. to you. Um, no, but... He's not he's passed away, but he's really he's busy at work or something? Like, he has a job as his life? <laughs> when my mother was alive. See, this guy that you're talking about is actually my stepfather. And mm -hmm. uh, he wasn't there. That's my mother's husband of 20-whatever years. I don't know. Yeah, he Three, seems like that. Life. Yeah, and he just couldn't handle it, you know? And he had his my own... Does there. he have a real son, though? Yeah. He has a real yeah, son. Yeah, yeah. And he bought, his, he bought his son his own house? Yeah, I don't know about that. I don't think he has much... I don't think the son has much to do with him. Oh, uh, well, yeah, that's... So my mom passed away a few years ago. So was he kind of abusive? Yeah. Was he kind of abusive, though? Like, I would say when he was drunk, he, he would be a jerk? And she didn't like I, drunks? Like, I didn't know about it. I mean, my mom would not tell me, though. I don't know anything like that, but it's possible. Tell me what you're seeing, you know, because I'm curious. Well, did he drink sometimes? He did drink some, and my mom, you know, she didn't believe in that. She didn't like it at all, but when he drank, he was kind of a jerk, right, I guess? And she just, you know, she couldn't control it, so fuck it. <laughs> I guess I'm... But it was, what was he born in? Do you know if he's like a Leo or a Virgo or something? Oh, <laughs> uh, no, his birthday is, is Christmas Eve, December 24th. Oh, uh, well, he's a Capricorn then. <laughs> I guess he was kind of a douchebag, yeah. but... Because he's, like, all serious and all about his job, I guess. But when he drank, I don't know if he was a jerk or not or something. I'm not sure. It just kind of seemed like there was sketchiness to him. You know what I mean? Like, behind the scenes. He, he, oh, I, and in front of you, he'd be fake and, like, fake perfect. And you'd be, like, quit cussing or something. And act like a, you know, like a douchebag about random shit. Does he act like that? Like, yeah. trying to control the way you talk, you know? Like, don't cuss or whatever. Does he ever do that? Not to me. And my mother never did cuss. I mean, but... He, he was probably, because um, she was a passive personality, mm -hmm. and I think he probably definitely wore the pants in the situation, mm -hmm. but I never liked him. Yeah. I never did like him. Kind of douchey-ish. I didn't like the man. I guess. And my dad was very strict in a different kind of way. But, this, but your dad was nicer uh, and stuff. But he was kind of slow, and uh, your dad, kind of slow, and stuff like he kind of seemed out of place sometimes or something your dad like my he, he kind of acted like a no, kid my dad um, owned businesses and ran farms he was very okay. smart and just a very um wonderful person in the community 
this guy is just the opposite. <laughs> okay. The one that the Eddie guy that you're picking up on. He's but was it your dad kind of kind of childlike in a way, but as in a grown up? He loved, you know, he he was he loved cars. I mean, he owned a car lot and stuff, and he had a lot of cars like a Viper and oh gosh. Okay. Did he have toy he had, cars too? He had Yeah, like toy cars, toy cars. Did they have toy cars? No, they're real cars. No, they're oh. real cars. Like very oh. expensive, real cars. Oh. But he, you know, it's like, oh, he see it, he wants it, he bought it. You know, he hmm. wants it. And he, um, like that, he's a hard worker. And he's ran businesses and farms and, and dealt with cattle and stuff. And That's so cool. And life. And, um, so, yeah, he was like that. With, you know, they say boys and their toys or whatever. You know? Yeah. His automobiles. <laughs> yes, he loved them. I don't know. Really That's cool. I don't know. Do you, don't you have an? It's really cool that you pick up on this Eddie guy. That's really cool that you would do that because he's been on my mind a lot lately. Because you know, honestly, the whole thing about the funeral, and I don't. You might have been picking this up. Is you know, he has another cremated. I would have preferred to have a, you know. A traditional burial. So is coffin. that why the coffin was small uh, when she got cremated? It was like a small box or whatever? Was that what it that's, looked that's like? What you, it looked like a small coffin, but it was like a box, and it was kind of silver, a dark gray color. Is that true or false? Yeah, that's, no, that's true. And there was yeah. some kind of plant on top of it, though, is what I'm seeing, that it didn't have flowers on it. It was just like a plant on top of it at first, and it was a round plant. Or something like a vase. Probably, you know, I really haven't got to see the box. I mean, I saw it at the funeral home. Yeah. He's taking it home with him, and I haven't. Now, I yeah. Have to it, so have to well, you know, that's his wife. Yeah. I guess. But is he? Do you think he's with another girl now? Or I just know. I just know. I think he had a son, and he's got a tan son or something, kind of the Indianish color. You know what I mean? And probably. And. I don't know. <laughs> I was just thinking I've seen that. I don't know. Yeah. Just... You know, he probably does already have another woman. I don't talk to him, but that, I've been curious about that myself. I'm sure he's already moved on, you know? He's not the type to sit around and whine and cry and miss somebody. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm thinking too, because, like, he's really serious. He's not, like, yeah, not emotional, kind of girly or, sen you know what I mean? Just kind of, like... His life is his career, but he, if he wants a woman, he's going to get a woman, like, in control of the bitch, right? Oh, right. Yeah. Um, that's just how he feels to me. I don't really know him, but I don't know. <laughs> it's kind of how I guess. But at least I got it, and his name was Eddie. <laughs> I don't know. That really threw me off when you said that, because... And he's sketchy, you know? It's sketchy about him, you know? Oh, wow. It's like my stepdad and then, or Edward, and his family calls him Eddie. And I was thinking, well, I wonder which one it is. And I'm thinking, well, it's got to be, because we're talking about my mom, so it had to be her husband. But, um, yeah, so, I don't know, you said, is he still alive? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I mean, I'm sure he is. Um, I would have heard the news by now, something where it would have happened to him. Oh, okay. Well, well that's sick. good. I don't know what kind of sick, but if he had the coronavirus or not. But I heard he, he was sick. Wow. Only the good die young, and he's so bad. Wow, really? The good die young? That's insane. That's what they say. That's. I think the good people <laughs> suffer until they die too. <laughs> I think the good people suffer longer and live longer and then die, <laughs> and then that good, like happy people, die young. <laughs> you know what I mean? The good, happy people die young, and it's just like, wow, what a waste when they were so great. <laughs> Exactly. That's what I think. <laughs> I'm going to live a, such a long life. It's crazy. Uh, it is. So do you see anything in my love life? Like, can you tell anything about... Well, didn't you get a divorce or something? You got a divorce and it was real bad. <laughs> and... Uh, I don't know. 
I thought you were still with your man, your husband. <laughs> you know what, yeah, I'm just wondering if there's anything coming up in that or anything. But did you ever get a divorce or what? No. Oh, no. so he's like your high school sweetheart or something? Pretty much, yeah. That's what I'm thinking. But what you were talking about some kind of divorce real bad. Did he ever get divorced? I don't think he. I think he's just with yeah, you. My oh, your parents got divorced? Okay, toodles. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's fine. I'll see you later. What's your name? Toodles. What is your name? <laughs> I'm here. My name is Dashton. Dashton? <laughs> mm hmm. What's your astrology sign? Me? Uh. Are you a Leo? No, Gemma. Gemma. Gemma, thank you. I was so kindly. Gemma. <laughs> Okay, I'm psychically picking up on that you had a twin size bed in like a studio, like a one room pl looking place, and uh, you wear like red and black socks or something like that, but not like a lot of them. But like, is that true? Yeah. That was true, right? Okay, so let's pick it up on that. Okay, so your pillow was white and your um, blanket was a, a blue color on your twin size bed. Mm -hmm. I'm right? Yeah. Okay, well, it's my turn. Okay, good. So, all right, okay. So, like, uh, if you look to your right, you can see a window, a big old window. And and if you look forward, your bed's there. And that's where your bed was, right? Mm -hmm. And that's true. So, I'm actually seeing something psychic. Okay, um, and then on your left was, like, two doors. One of them was the closet. One of them was the hallway closet or something like that. Like, to go to the hallway and the dorm or something. Is that true? Yeah. Like you lived in a college? And it was upstairs? And and if you look out the window, you can see the, uh, see the court, the court house, uh, not court, court room, court, not court, what's it called? A court, like, you know, like an area, and then there's a building. Yeah, like a little area, like it, it, it's, it's shaped like the, like a U. Like if you, if you look out the window, you're looking to the the left is your bed. The window is in your front of your view. On the right side, down, looking over the window, you know, outside the window, there's a building on the right side that cuts off, you know, and um, makes a little U to on your right side, and that's a little area. Is that what that looks like? Yes. So I'm actually saying something. That's specific. Yeah, and then, and then behind you is like two doors, a closet door on the right side and the left door, the left side is the door to go out in the hallway. Is that right or wrong? Yes. Okay. It, it's actually right, so I'm actually psychic. Is that, but is that cool, huh? And then, yes. uh, it is? Okay, um, okay, are you kind of like a small person? Kind of, I mean, you're kind of tall, but your bones are small, like your, your face is it not like big it's like you know um it's ovalish and then like your eyes are kind of uh different looking like they're kind of like googly like you you know what i mean like your eyes are kind of um they're shaped almost like um um they look kind of ghosty or something you know like googly looking is that what your eyes look like kind of like they're not bug, like they're not bug eyed, but they're like they're kind of like that, but they're kind of shaped unique, like like almost looks like you have a lazy eye or dreamy eyes or something. Is that what your eyes look like? You know what I mean? Sort of like your pu. Okay. Like your pupils kind of are like one's bigger than the other kind of looking or something like you have light, you have different, even if you're like, like, is your eyes look like a light, different color shade, like almost like a greenish kind of color, like, but it's like, you know, brown, but it's like a. Yeah, like your eyes are just really unique looking, and um, like they're like a brownish green color. You know what I mean? Like a tint is what I'm seeing. It's unusual. 
And um, I'm right. Okay. And um, like you kind of have a smaller head and your hair is short. You know, it's like almost shaved, but a little bit on the top, a little bit long. Is that how it is? And you're kind of tall, but you have a small head. You know what I mean? And skinny. Yeah. And I'm right. Yay. Okay. And then um, uh, you you like to wear like just plain clothes, like just regular sweater, like a navy blue sweater, and like you wear these camo pants that look like a also a dark green color, and they're like, you know what I mean? Is that what you wear, kind of? And you wear white white sh tennis shoes. But you have that type of outfit? Yes. Well, and you have a piercing in your ear too. Your right ear above on the on the above the ear on the top of the tip of your ear is a gold um a earring, a gold earring. Is that true or false? That's false. It's false. Okay, you don't have a gauged earring either like a silver one. You don't have no earrings. Okay, well, I'm, I don't know why I'm seeing that. That must be my imagination of bullshit. Do you know anybody else who has, like, an earring like that? Uh, like, I, know, I have a friend that has an And he's black. Is he black? Uh-huh. Well, that's what I'm seeing, I guess. And, um, so he has, like, the gold earring at the tip of his ear, and it's kind of like a loop, a hoop. And then at the bottom is, like, a silver star, a circle, in the middle of the star, is that right? Mm -hmm. It's actually a gauge and it's got star, it's like got little triangles around, like a sun, like, you know, shaped like a sun, and it's a gauge earring. Yeah. That's actually true, see? That's specific as fuck, you know what I mean? How, how could anybody know that unless they're psychic? Is, am I just a good guesser or am I actually being psychic? See? I don't know. Isn't that cool? <clears throat> That's groovy. And okay, this is your birth chart again. Your birth chart, you're a Capricorn and your moon is in Aquarius, which means you're very friendly, persistent, and you know everything. And your mom's probably a righteous, racist, prejudiced, egotistical maniac, or she's your friend. And your Saturn is in Aquarius, which means your dad was either a righteous, prejudiced person who didn't want you to be yourself, and um, uh, or he was your friend, or turned out to be. H how did that go for you? And this gives you the gift of knowledge, like a lot of knowledge. You could be an astrologer. And it can be taken away from you. And it, you have challenges with that type of stuff. Is this true about your dad and your mom kind of being egotistical douchebags? Or are they your friend? Mm -hmm. You're not egotistical douchebags, no. But, well, mm -hmm. what? Uh, my, my, my mom was my friend. She was friendly. Um, my dad was... In the past, I would say he was an egotistical douchebag, but then he changed. Good, so that was... more of my friends, so yeah. Hell yeah, so he became that challenge he person and eventually learned his own lesson. Yeah. Cool. Groovy. So you're, and, you're, and your ego is just crumbled to be humble and normal and good. Do what? Mm -hmm. huh? So you had to go through the challenge of getting your... Ego crumbled until you were perfectly good and treated everyone equally and being friendly and good, right? Yeah, that's true. Okay, and your Venus is in Sagittarius, which means you like to travel for a relationship and you really just want to keep things moving and productive in a relationship. And if they if they stay stagnant, you gotta go. And like you, when you you move on very quickly, you have backups, you know, relationships in case yeah. one of them you really. You're like air. And okay, and your Mars is in Sagittarius. That's your willpower, and it means you probably get mad at somebody's challenges, beliefs, and philosophies, or something. I don't know. Your crown is in Leo, mm -hmm. your, but your Sirius is in Capricorn. That, that means people want to be seen with you, and when they're seen with you, they look good. They want you to be with them on your make. That you make people's reputation look good. You probably act like they come to you at work to be a boss, when, even if you're not at, even if you're not like a boss or manager, but they treat you like that at work. Is that true? Yeah. They come to you. Um, they come to you to heal yeah. through that. 
And that's what you have to offer them. That's how you kill other people. That's why they come to you. They look forward to you. Be like, oh, can you help me with this and that? And it turns out to be like something to do with their work, career, or the reputation, or, you know, being yeah. a father. You, you heal people yeah. with that. Isn't that interesting? That's why you give to other people. That's... <laughs> That is... I work, at a, I work at an elementary school, so it's like... Wow. Yeah, a lot of times I gotta do a lot of stuff, bitch. You know, Mr. Jenkins, you do this, you do this, you do this. And sometimes we, I don't even know how I'm figuring this stuff out, but I actually figured this stuff out. Wow. That's so cool. I don't know. Your Jupiter is in Virgo, so you're very lucky with being a teacher, and you're very lucky with being productive. You're very lucky with, like, relationship with animals and day-to-day -day routines you're lucky with having uh living to your own abundance you're lucky with your own health and diet and stuff is that true or what and so you would be a teacher yeah. that's so good yeah. you would be a teacher because uh jupiter with virgo is like an analytical person and higher learning and teaching people and living productively like that would be really cool and that's probably why. Plus, your Saturn's in Aquarius, which means you have a gift of having all this knowledge and teaching people. Anyways, they can be taken away from you. But it's, but obviously, you're working with it in a good way. Your ego and balance of teaching um, is good because you're also you're a teacher or whatever. <laughs> it's so crazy to say that you said about the ego thing because in the past, in the past, and I must admit, in the past, um, I've come a long way because in the past, the evil thing that you said, that was me in the past, like, I knew, I thought I knew it all. First of all, I was really in the church, so a lot of things. Church, like, yeah. Like, Mars and Sagittarius about I, beliefs. Like, I knew the Bible, and from the front to the back, I just knew a lot of stuff, and a lot of people, you know, was like, oh, he think he know everything. I was just always just smart, and, and I got out of it, you know. I don't know as much as I used to know from them and stuff, and it's like, I kind of humbled myself because Humble. I was like that person, I knew it all, and know it all, I, I didn't really, I mean, I don't want to say I judged people, I didn't judge them. You might have belittled them and wanted to be better than them and thought you were above them because they didn't look in the details that you did, like an observer, right? And you just thought you were on something, yeah, getting I, there. I, and I thought I didn't do anything wrong. Yeah, of course you didn't think you did anything wrong because Aquarius is the higher self. It's like the know-it-all wannabe and it's a good person. It wants to be on the good side of the team, I guess. <clears throat> and you have to figure it out what is good and what is right until it's like what is bad, what is wrong with you being so explosive with your ego because it's inflamed and it's kind of bad and destructible and corruptive, but it's trying to get somewhere good so you can feel that good strong healthy ego and be humble like you said saturn in aquarius that's you that's you you got mercury in sagittarius venus in sagittarius mars in sagittarius you put your willpower into your higher learning expansion so this is really good teacher freaking chart that's so interesting okay back to the psychic reading let's see um do you have a sister yes i do okay she visits you at the college too Yeah, okay. And she's like your younger sister, though? No, no, she's actually my older sister. Okay, but she's shorter than you, and her hair is very... Her, her hair is past her shoulder blade, and it's very flat, but uh, uh, wavy, and it looks like it's stiff and wavy, like it's gelled or something. Is that what her hair looks like? Is it? Okay. Yeah, that's what I'm seeing. Isn't that weird? And y'all kind of... And she has uh, thick eyebrows... And she has long eyelashes, like, her eye shape is different from yours, and her eye color looks more copper. Is that what it kind of looks like? Yeah, I think actually she got, um, she got some type of contact, so it looked like her eyes copper. <laughs> she got these. And she... Brownish, grayish, something type, what copper look like? Brownish, something, I don't know, but yeah, you're right. Cool. Yeah. And her eyes are shaped like... Uh, almond shaped, but your eyes are all like googly, you know, like, uh, yeah. Yeah, right. kind of square and round, you know, but hers is right. almond shaped. 
All um, right. See, I'm seeing something. And also, she gets you stuff from secret places. Like, she comes to you and y'all, you know, share something secret or something. You know what I'm talking about? Which I'm not going to say. I don't know, like bubble gum or something. <laughs> I don't know, like she passes you something in the hallway uh, of the school and it's like a secret, you know, and it's like you are relying on her for it or, or something like that. Like you have to be uptight about it and she's all like, cool, for some reason, and she hands it to you. Yeah, you rely on her for big sister things, but she's your little sister. Yeah. Yeah, college. Isn't that cool? So cool. Groovy. Well, also, I'm seeing, um, let's see, uh, your sister, her friends, um, but no, um, going to the movies, I don't know, um, staying upstairs, uh, I'm just, like, well, you spent majority of your life in college, is what I'm seeing, like, at the college dorm is what I'm seeing, right? Like, I'll, like, like six or seven years or something like that, or nine. <laughs> That's too long of college. Not me though. I mean, I was in college. I don't think I, I don't think I was that long. I was like, I was there about four years, but my sister, like, she was there about nine. Seven. Nine years, yeah. Like your sister, someone seemed like. Okay, yeah, she doesn't seem like she's at the. Uh, apartments, but she still had to go to college for like six, seven, or nine years is what I'm seeing. <laughs> Somebody. Okay, that's groovy. Wow. Okay. Hold on. Like, little stupid, sh measly old bullshit, just like, uh, like, what we're, what I'm psychically picking up on could, could pick up on spirits and things that are like, wow, things that you've been dying to see, you know, your whole entire fucking life, like angels, Jesus, some fucking self, right? And this is the way you get there, you know, just by being this little measly little boring ass bullshit that you pick up on, it could lead to real fucking spirit communication, you know what I mean? Like, shit, people have just pay for and die for and wish for every fucking day, but they're just douchebags and they don't take the time to do it, you know what I mean? Or listen to somebody. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah it's that dumb. Annoying. So, like... Anyways. Um... Oh, I went to the door. Okay, let's see. Um, back to being psychic, trying to. Um, okay, um, going to take it. Christian also just you know, strictly religious. Ancestry? Ancestry. Ancestry. Medium or something? Okay. She told me that she was a medium. Oh, 
house to the ancestors and whatever and tell stuff. And okay. I've been really interested in just getting readings and I just want to find out and I'm like what is your sister's astrology sign? Do you know what your sister's astrology sign is? Is she like a cancer? Because she got all the connections in the world? Or is she a Sagittarius? I believe it's a... I think it's Aquarius. Oh, she's Aquarius. February, February the 2nd. She's an Aquarius. Very cool. 19... Oh, you want me to do her birthday? 1985, I believe. Oh, me too. We both 85 bitches. Oh my gosh. I'm going to do her birth chart then, and I'll tell you if you tell me if it's right. Okay, here is her chart. Okay, she's an Aquarius. Her moon is in Gemini, which means she has racing thoughts in her head, and sometimes she's schizophrenic. Like, all of a sudden, she'll be super funny and nice, and then she won't be funny anymore, and she'll be like this complete brat who wants to just get her way. Like, if you don't feel the same way that she does or think the same way she does at this point in time, she'll go schizophrenic and turn to this completely different person, and then it'll fade, and then she'll be back to normal. Is that right? Yes. It is right. Okay. Her Mercury's in Aquarius. She likes to tell you everything that she knows because she knows it. She's friendly. And, um, her like, she'll be an astrologer nerd, you know? It, her Venus is in Pisces, which means she treats everyone like her soulmate. Uh, her Mars is in Pisces. Oh, like oh, like oh, yeah. Like yeah, like everyone equally, but like a soulmate too. Like, you know what I mean? Like compassionate, loving for everyone. Okay, she treats them or they are, are they are, are they is. She treats them like everyone's her soulmate. All her relationships, she treats like she's like, loving. Like like both friends and relationships she treats everyone like oh i love you so much you're my soulmate we're oh my god oh m g oh my god she goes let me tell you the way she is that's so true the way she is like she always goes a hundred and ten percent in friendships and relationships mm. and the other person on the other side does not reciprocate the same way for her and I have to hear it constantly and constantly and I tell her just stop going so hard like, like like she'll never give up on a person who's just a bad person and treats her like shit and she still tries to treat them like her best friend right yes but like we got a friend <clears throat> My birthday and my best friend's birthday because my best friend's birthday is one day before mine. Like, my birthday, no, my birthday is January the 7th, and mine's just the 8th. We call each other like sisters and brothers. You know, she is older than me, but she, um, my sister threw us a surprise birthday, all white birthday party. Mm -hmm. And when it came to my sister's birthday, all she asked for uh, us and her friend to do was mm -hmm. to take her out to a certain club we all supposed to go. And the friend that she threw his party for was like, she was tired that night and we didn't even go. Mm -hmm. and at the time, I didn't have my car. She only had a car. So we was really depending on going with her. Mm -hmm. And that was, but that, that's just one example of how the show, yeah, she's like, she treats everyone like they, that's what I mean, she puts 120, 115% in all relationships. Aww. She does. So sweet. So good. Even with the family, she does. She does, and people don't reciprocate the same way. Right. Oh, I'm sorry. I just had to point out that you're right. Well, I'm glad you told me that. Okay, her Mars is in Pisces, which means how she gets mad can be changeable. Like, she can shape shift into anybody when she's mad and, like, be a different person for that particular angry situation, you know? But it's more uh, not as a... I mean, it could be shockingly aggressive and then <clears throat> plateau to being just... Um, Back to just being sweet, you know, because she just wants to get to that point of you're not showing in compassion. I will try to make you reverse your head into showing me some compassion or somebody. You know what I mean? Like she wants empathy from other people. She wants to see someone redeem themselves when they're getting mad, when they're in an argument or something. Like she wants you to be, be for, she wants you to be forgiven. She wants to forgive you. She wants to make it to where you're forgivable. You know what I mean? In a fight. You're right. I'm telling you, I, I, that's right. That's right. That's exactly her. Oh my God, this is crazy because that's exactly how it is. Oh my God. Okay, let's go. Keep going. Yes. And, uh, yeah. And, okay, her Jupiter's in Capricorn. She's lucky with having a good reputation. She's lucky with. Okay, her Saturn's in Scorpio, Death Plexer. I don't know. 
Did her dad die? Does she have a different dad than you? No, no, we got the same dad. Oh, okay. No, we got the same dad. Well, is she gonna inherit? Uh, is she? Gonna, is she gonna inherit something that you're not gonna be able to inherit from her dad? Is she going to be able to inherit some kind of money or property from her dad that you can't for some reason? Ooh, let me tell you. It's not an inheritance. It's something that she already has that I don't have. My dad gets disability, and she is the one that's over his disability <laughs> money. Yeah, disability money is actually um, government taxes property, and Saturn and Scorpio. Scorpio rules other people's money, and it rules government taxes and government because property. Because my dad access, though. He gave it to her. He, he trusts her. Yeah, connection. Which I think I would be better with it, but that's what he trusts her with, so guess what? I guess what? I don't, I don't, I don't, um... It's meant for her. I don't question anything. I don't question anything. I just let it go high, go so yeah. But you right, yeah. Yeah, it's meant for her. She's got the inheritance. Saturn Scorpio, she's got to earn it. She earned it. She she gets it. That's her gift from Saturn. Your gift is to be a teacher and knowledge. Her gift is this government um disability thing, which is or whatever she has for it. So she probably gets a stimulus check, even if she's the accountant of your dad or something. Who knows or whatever the fuck. Or she gets a disability. Yeah, she, yeah that, that's that. Too. She got a card and everything. She got it. It's a, it's all hers. Oh, it's all hers? I mean, she moved it. Yeah. Cool. She had to go get money for him today to get to him. Oh. She moved it. And then right. her Lilith is in Aries, which means she lives now or never. She has to live now or never. She can be really repulsive, cussing, and people are like, Ew, I don't want to see you all like that. But she does it anyway, so she has to be proud and arrogant of it. And she lives in the now. She's like a hero, and everyone else is like not as fast as her. And... People think she's too repulsive, but she does it anyways, and she becomes her own little fucking hero. Like, you know what I mean? She has to live in the now. Everyone's not as quick as her. Mm -hmm. She want to be a hero. Okay. Her North Nod is in Taurus. That's what she came here to lack and gain. She has no stability in her life. <laughs> But she gains it every now and then. Because she has no stability. Say it again. Say it again about that. She's not. She doesn't have much stability. Her life's pretty chaotic. It seems like. It is. She seems like she's never even home at her dorm. Anyways, when she was at college, she never was really there much. You would just visit almost like you know what I mean. Well, actually, she yeah, because she didn't stay on campus, so she stayed home, so she came back and forth. Yeah, before. but you yeah, lived there, and she didn't. So long and, yeah. I'm psychic. Right. <laughs> okay, the gift that also, also, like I'm telling you, she has connections everywhere and she gives things to other people that they need and they lack. She has C Rest and Taurus. She's a very generous person. She shares. Doesn't mean she has all the riches in the world, but she shares what she has that she can give to the world, what she has enough left of. She two for tea is her thing. Two for tea. Like she'll get two of each things for somebody else. She she loves to Share yeah. that value with somebody else. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yes. Mm. That's her. That's mm. exactly her. People come to her, they want to they use her for money, they want to use her for the connection, but she's willing to share anyways, whatever she has. It's like people come to use her, like they think they can take advantage of her for money and stuff like that, but she's not trying to be like that. She's just, she's willing to just share with other people. They just need to like, not be a brat. That's, that's, true. It, that's, it. that's what it is. That's her. That's her. Yeah. She, that's she has her completely. That's crazy. And then her crown is in Gemini, which means she still has to heal her relationship with her mother. She has a relationship, even though her mother would probably want to keep her forever, but her mother is a two face with her, right? And then um, she has to always heal her communication skills, how she communicates with other two, or something like that. I don't know, and her schizophrenia, because oh, I think your sister's kind of schizophrenic. Like, your, 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 your sister's kind of schizophrenic in a way. Like, she'll black out and be somebody else, and then all of a sudden she's herself. And, like, she has to learn how to heal that or something, and how to communicate with other people. And probably her communication skills with her mother being a toothpaste or something. Like, your mother is, like, a different friend to you or whatever, but, like, her mother's kind of toothpaste, right? Is that true or false? Well, yeah. Oh, okay, well, 
Even if it's the same mother, it's a different treatment. Right? Oh, okay. She, um, but what happened when we was at a young age, she had, uh... Does your sister have to be her own mother and everybody else's, basically, which we already... She's like everybody's... She's like her mother, her own mother, her own mother. Like, she has to mother and nurture herself, and then she also is like that for others, so it's what I think. So that's right, I guess? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, her vistas in Scorpio. Oh, does she ever meet people through uh, funerals and stuff? Does she hang out at funerals and meet? Funeral? Like, does she go, go on a date with her boyfriend to go to do a funeral or something? Okay, do you, you said, did she ever go on a date with her boyfriend to... A funeral, or met a boyfriend at a funeral? Mm. Did she ever met... I just had so many boyfriends. I don't even know, child. Right. <laughs> but to be honest with you, uh, might be. It sounds like she probably did. She had so many boyfriends. Yeah. I mean, all. Uh. But what you mean by meet? Meet. Okay, hold on. Say it again. You said that she ever went with her boyfriend. Like she'll her. probably meet somebody at a funeral to uh -huh. be her boyfriend or something, because her vista is in Scorpio, and that's kind of like um. Well, she also has secrets about her relationships, like, as in, like, she don't have to have everyone know who she's actually with, because she doesn't even know if they're with her, so she might let people think that uh, you're with, she's with somebody that she's hanging out with, but she's really with somebody else on the side, like, she don't like to share all her friends with her only, her little boyfriend or something, unless it's okay, but, you know what I mean? Like, she likes to keep different lives going on. Because she do not want to get that relationship right. contaminated, so it's kind of, you know, her, yeah. no one's sex life is anybody's business but hers and the person she's with. That's basically that. That's how that is. <laughs> you know what I mean? Okay. Yeah. <sighs> but she's still really Juno and Libra, so she really does want a partner or whatever. That one, I guess. I don't know. Uh, Palace and Pisces. She's right. spiritual and stuff. That's cool. Well, that's the story of that's glory of love. And that's her chart. And, um. You working with something? You working with something? <laughs> so, when did you, um. When did you first find out you wanted. Well, when did you. I mean, I don't know. Uh, when I'm psychic is different from being astrology. Astrology is different, but uh, spirits have told me they're astrology signs, even animals, and that's cool. Astrology is not psychic, but it can predict stuff, but it's not psychic. It's a social opportunity. It's a thing. Being psychic is psychic, and that's different. But I started being, I mean, I always knew that I could be psychic. There's some way that you have to be psychic or whatever. When I was in elementary school, I tried to get my friends to sit there and think of something really loud so I can try to hear it, you know what I mean? I started trying to practice that way. And also, I started being on this, on MySpace, on Yo'sville, it's called. It's, it's a game where you have an avatar. It's kind of like the Sims game. And uh, they, they have an avatar. They're like, they have like a character that looks like blonde hair and um, blue eyes. But in real life, they have black hair and brown eyes or something in my visions. And I would be able to see them through who they, you know what I mean? Like, and what they're doing, who they are, and when their atmosphere, like I just did with you, kind of. And I just would type what I see, and then I'd become psychic that way, and then I see angels through them. It's always for the other person. It's not ever really by yourself, unless it's like, because you won't, you won't get any confirmation by yourself. You don't know if it's really happening, or you're just listening for no reason. But, like, you have to always have that other person. I don't know, and then I started doing it over the phone, and, uh, and then I started doing it in person, and, um, I do it however I can do it whenever <laughs> and I record it and like that's awesome <laughs> that's what I do I don't know and astrology is groovy I don't know um I always thought astrology was cool I thought it was Aquarius but actually I'm a Pisces on the cusp of Aquarius and Liam Mortar's Pisces in my chart and I've always kind of wanted to be kind of Pisces and but it turns out I actually am Pisces and um uh I like the dolls and the cartoons and I like the horoscopes and all just like wow that'd be cool but um I didn't know, and then I didn't like it anymore, and I didn't care, and I didn't want it to be real until I looked at birth charts, and I was like, oh, that's something else? And then I was like, this actually is real, and I study everybody anyways. I used to always, it became real to me when I started knowing everybody else's signs anyways, before all that. I knew cancers were, like, all the so similar to the same, and I'm like, 
And then I started seeing like this moon and star on um, people's faces that were cancer signs. And I was like kind of weird. And like, it was like a symbol. And then I saw a body of light that's uh, a lion. And uh, I would tell people, oh, you're a Leo, right? And I was right. And that was so cool. And like it's astrology symbols that would come visions around people. And I would see that symbol and I would be able to guess them right. But that hasn't happened in a long time. But I usually just guess by what is. And sometimes I'm not right. And sometimes I am. But... I just thought that was interesting too, and I always like had crushes on Libras, and I was like, oh wow, they have this vibe, which is just a, a, a vibe that makes you have a crush on them, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. It's just really weird, and I was like, wow, everything's real. I don't know. Does that make any sense? That's just, okay. I don't know. It all, it's like a process. It's a thing. You know, it develops. It's, it's awareness, discovery, and then you finally get there, and you're like, you can keep on going. I don't know. <laughs> You're lucky with having Jupiter and Virgo, same old, same old routine. And then also being a Capricorn means that you're serious and you're really good at school and um, you rather uh, work than play. And then it becomes like you talk yourself out of being social and you become a social climber, but it's not like a social, you know, like weirdo that you could be your inner self is kind of like moon and Aquarius, so you would be persistent friendly you would show that but you have restrictions on that you have restrictions on uh friends in your life too like they are either given to you and they're like friends forever or they're like going to be taken away from you because you're a dick or something but like that's what saturn will give you challenges with that huh i said i don't go looking for friends to be honest with you i consider all of my family members my friends my sister and my... Yeah, I think so too. And my cousins are my friends, I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. Like, you know, That's like, awesome. Like, they are, they have a soul, they are beings, I mean, it's just like going to the same school with them, it doesn't matter if they're blood or not, that's a friend. If they're, if you can bond with somebody and have them as your favorite person, that is actually a real friend, you know? That's what a friend, that's a friend. Yeah. So that's I awesome. Oh. Um, Oh, yeah. And I was like, damn, I'm so bored. He's like, you know why you bored? He was like, because you do the same thing. You hang around the same people. You're like, man, go out and meet somebody. I think well, at least you do. Have well, damn. So, so, you know what? Let me get on. This is the Flintstones, okay? I'm picking up that you have a what? A daughter, right? Is it true? Yes or no? Okay. That's true? Okay. Let's see. Okay, the baby's mo mama's wife it has long hair and it's curly and she's black too, or whatever. Is she really? And light skin, her hair is long and curly, like long and curly, like a Barbie. And um, she's a, she's a caramel color looking black girl, Barbie. But her hair is like light or something, and wavy, like straight and everything. Like is it weaved or something? In? That's what I'm seeing in my base second vision. So I see that, like right now, groovy, huh? Okay, and, um, I'm the psychic taxi. I was just like, wow. Okay, um, um, yeah, so you have a daughter, and she has braids in her hair, too, but they're really short and small. And she wears a pink mask. She likes, um, uh, she likes wearing pink, like, this, um, uh, Mary maroon pink colored mask. <laughs> That's the color. I'm seeing that in my vision. That's what I'm seeing. That's how I see things and see if I know them. You know what I mean? I'm telling you what I see. And I see Mars, and I see this big old heel, and that was annoying. Okay, um, anyways. Okay. Okay, you lived with your aunt, and so did your girlfriend? Okay. But you never lived with your aunt, or her aunt? Oh, uh, does she live with her aunt? Something about an aunt? Nothing about an aunt. Oh, no, she did just move. I don't know she moved to. Oh. Okay. So this is the thing with the aunt. Okay. Forget it. Okay, um, I don't know, I'm losing it. Let's see, um. I don't know. You know a girl named Renee? Mm -hmm. Renee at school? Really? Me too. Same thing with me. I'm elementary school, actually. My years is middle school. Uh, she was bad. Really? Was she blonde? Mm -hmm. Mine was too. <laughs> Does she look like, um, like, 
Is it blue eyes or something? I don't remember. I don't or weird I don't looking know, eyes just, and a weird nose. We're gonna have to smooth program. We should be an actor. Mm -hmm. Expressions. She had one of the ADHD kids. Have you ever seen that one show that looks like this kid from Chucky and he has red hair and it's called I don't know and then he, in the sequel he has a stepsister or something with blonde hair. <laughs> that girl looks like the Renee that I known in the elementary school. <laughs> Whatever, who cares? <laughs> I don't know, tell me something psychic because you are a Pisces. I don't know what rising moon. Mm -hmm. Okay then. I threw it up. Okay then. Okay, does your sister have yellowish blonde hair? Yes. And uh, she's like your half sister? Is that the half sister or the real sister? The step sister. The step sister? And then there's another sister that has dark red hair. Right? Auburn red hair, dark, Auburn red brownish hair? Auburn. Auburn. And it's straight. And the other ones have, sh the yellowish one has shorter hair right here. And it's thick. Is that true? It's short and thick. And this short? Curly. Very thick. And, um, uh, she blows dry a lot to make it straight. I don't know. Okay, well, never mind. And, uh, she's kind of short and heavyweight, right? Yes. And the, and the other sister is tall and with long hair down here. Is that true? And she has bangs, sweet bangs to the side. And she looks like you a lot, <clears throat> right? She's about my height. She uh, has longish hair. She cut it short, though. Mm -hmm. And it is straight. And she wears glasses, too? No. Okay, well, never mind with that. Um. And a nephew or something? Or not? I do have nephews. You have a nephew. Um, and you have... Like, they're two brothers? There are two brothers. They look like twins, but mm -hmm. one's older than the other. Do they both have brown hair? They do. Like, okay. And one of them has, like, a bull haircut. It's, like, bangs right up to here. And the other one has shorter hair. The youngest one has shorter hair. That's your boss. Youngest one has <laughs> longer hair, and okay. the taller one has uh, long, uh, curly, short hair. Uh, well, then I was wrong, but it's still it's brown. Mm. Um, I mean, it's not so short, but you can still pull on it if you need to. Okay. Mm. When he's being a bitch. Right. Um. Um. Does your grandma look dark skin, like gray skinned? <laughs> Is she alive or not? She's dead. She's dead? Does she have blue eyes? I don't know. Oh. I've never met her. Have you ever seen a picture of her? Nope. Well. <clears throat> Um, do you take care of somebody in a wheelchair and who's, like, uh, Mexican-ish looking? Like, Indian looking? Like, dark skin, you know? Like, Jasmine looking, Aladdin, you know what I mean? She's not dark skin, and she is in a wheelchair. Does she have brown hair? Dark and black hair? Blackish. Blackish hair? I'm right. Okay, okay. But she's not tan looking? I don't know then, this sucks. But something's wrong, like she's missing her leg or something? <laughs> like it's amputated or something? Like she just has a nub or not? No. She doesn't, but you like to be just continuously talking about something I don't know about. She's in a wheelchair, <laughs> but she has both legs. And she is only in a wheelchair because one day she decided not to walk. Oh no. <laughs> wow. Well, I'm doing wrong. I'm not doing very good. I did okay, but I'm just not getting anything else that I know of. I just can tell that she's just um, a bossy bitch, right? That's all she is. She just wants to boss somebody around. Kind of like what you just said. <laughs> is she she's hardly ever bosses me around. Okay, well, then that's good. 
And what's the deal? You just have to hold things around? Oh, you just naturally help her out? I do her <coughs> laundry. I change her clothes in the morning. I change her diaper. Oh. And I've been unsuccessful so far trying to get her to take a shower. Oh. Why? Because she has to go down this long hallway to a back bathroom. To, well, to one of the bedrooms. Oh. That's down the hallway because it's a three bed, two bath place. Oh, well, never mind. And you told me too much. That's too much. I could have told you, like, it's not like three bathrooms, blah, 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 blah. Then I'd pick up on that, but now I'm like out of that. Man, I'm losing contact. I have no clue what I can see, what I can't anymore. Because imagination just likes to get in the way. And like you telling me things, it's like cheating. <laughs> but like, it's cool to interesting to hear because <clears throat> I'm ass. I don't know. It's actually pretty fun. Yeah, it sounds like very fun and very easy to do. It's just it's like company. You get paid for it. Is this still recording? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> well, there you go. I guess that's the story. That's the story. I don't know. Yeah. Um, what's your sign? Oh. What's your sign, Leo? Leo, thank you. I'm so kindly. Okay, you are a Leo moon. In Libra, Cancer rising, 10th house, Aries. Your 8th house is in Aquarius. That's your death house. Let's see. Your sun is in the 2nd house, Leo. That's like a ton of taurus vibes. I don't know. Your moon's in Libra. This is how your mother treated you. It me And it was in the 6th house. Day-to-day -day routine. She was probably critical of you. She, she was fake and hypocritical. It makes you bashful and shy and embarrassed very easily. But you'd be arm candy to other people and always in a relationship. And um, she just treats you like an inanimate object. And she traveled around because your sixth house is in Sagittarius. So you are used to always traveling around, right? Yeah, my dad was in there. So you really don't have a home. Your fourth house is in Libra. She still treats you like an inanimate object. Your dad was either your friend or he was an egotistical maniac. And he was racist, prejudiced, and... Or, oh, he was like your friend. No, the, he was. Did uh, he die? He was mean and uh, Wait, he mean. hated blacks and he was a, like a redneck type. So he was like a hyper, he was like a racist, prejudiced person who did not want you to be yourself, right? Right, exactly. And he, you had to rebel to find he, yourself. Yeah, he got and, drunk and he was mean, you know, but yeah. when he got older, he it seemed to straighten out and we got to be best friends. There you go. That, that works. That's the challenge and lessons you have to learn through that. And, uh, yeah, it says he might be dead, you know, and it also, um, says, uh, the sixth, seventh house. Oh, you keep on attracting everyone like your father, everyone that's different from you, you think is different from you, but they, but you attract people that are just like your father. And that's, see, you're, you're secretly kind of like your father. Because your, your shadow self is your seventh house and, and the Capricorns. Um, your... Lilith is in Scorpio. That is how you rebel and people don't want to see you do these things and things that happen to you with that. Um, let's see, Scorpio. Lilith in the fourth house. You have to rebel to make a family and have a home. People don't want to even see you have a home and a family, but you just make it anyways. That's, do you have kids? Yeah. You have kids? Do you have a uh, two I'm sons? Grown, uh, you have two yeah, sons. Yeah, like I'm that. psychic. Okay. Do you have a daughter and two sons? <laughs> yeah. How did you know that? Because I'm picking up on it right now. Um, did you have to leave them with uh, their grandma or your grandma or something? And okay, the their two grandma. of them, they, they all look different though. All, all your kids look different from each other. Yeah. One of them's blonde hair. The guy, the son, and he's the tallest. He has blonde hair. Yeah, he's, exactly, he's a rock and roll okay. guitarist. Okay, well, don't oh, tell me, I will tell oh, you. Oh, oh, okay. You're just cheating. You're getting it right. That's I'm cheating. No, I know, but it's, it's... I'll tell you, let me just get to it, because it, it happens and I can't fucking stop it. Okay, and the other son has dark hair like you. Like you. And, um, uh, your daughter has pale, fair skin, and she has, like, brown hair, and she has a square, um... She has a square ha hairline, a square hairline, and her eyes are like kind of brown. 
the daughter, right? Oh, yes. But uh, your son with the blondish, yellowish hair, uh, he has curly hair, and he's taller than the other ones, and his he doesn't look like you. Um, but kind of maybe the lips maybe look like you in a way, mm -hmm. and um, and um, uh, his eye color, his eye shape is not like yours, but his eye color kind of is like yours a little bit, but kind of I can't tell. And um, uh, your son, the dark haired one, like your hair, he has big shoulders, and uh, he's more like he has a smush nose like yours. Your your son. Well, it happened in Iraq. Well, yours is kind of, is kind of like his, right? Yeah, I never got set when it... Well, nothing's wrong. Some people have bar noses, you know, some people have pig noses, you know, they're all different shapes. Just saying. So his nose is kind of like yours. Well, it, yeah, it started out being, and then I got into a wreck, and I didn't... Well, his nose is like yours, right? The shape. And everything. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. He has big shoulders. And, and um... Big eyes, yeah. Yeah, and, uh, and he wears glasses, does he not? Yeah. He wears glasses. He and doesn't he has, wear them. He doesn't like to He wear doesn't like them. to wear them. Yeah, I see that too. Okay, um... Okay, the one with blonde hair. It, it's short, though. It's, like, short. He, Until he grew it out. After he was wearing he, headbands. Like, right. bandanas. He wore, like, red bandanas. Yeah, he... And he, he, he... Okay, well, I'll tell you. And, um... He... Started, uh... Doing comedy or stand-up comedy or something... He would be on a microphone at church or something. He would sing for church, do guitars for church, and just preach or something. Was that what he did? He, he does that now. I mean, still in at Tulsa, churches. At Tulsa, yeah, in, in church. In church, okay, church. okay. He does something like that in church. And I'm doing good, right, with that, I guess. And 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 he started growing it out. It's down here, but it used to be short, like military cut, like the other son. Mm -hmm. The other son still keeps his hair short, right? I don't see him that much anymore. Okay, either. well, either way, back then. And the daughter, she's quiet, and she has brown hair, light, a little light, lighter brown hair than you. And uh, she's fair, beautiful skin, just like the uh, uh, dark-haired son. Mm -hmm. They have the same skin color. But the red-headed, he doesn't have the same skin color. He kind of has, like, a different type of redneck-ish yeah, hair he, and skin. He came out different. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't, they don't look, they all look beautiful. But they all look different from each other. That's what yeah. I'm saying. And, um, uh, well, is the dark-haired one a Sagittarius? When is he born? Um, he was born on August 19th. Okay, then he's like a Virgo or Leo. I'm not sure. I forgot. And then, um, um, I think he's Leo. And then, like, um, like, fire sign. Um, well, so is, is the blonde-haired guy an Aries or Taurus? When is he born? You got a last second. Well, I was wrong there, too. He's like a Cancer sign or something. When is your the daughter born? She's like a five. Uh, she was uh, August twenty third. Well, then she is a Leo. Ah, I was just trying to see if I can guess their signs because it's kind of reminding me of whatever. So I was wrong about the signs, but um. Anyways, um. And she she did she work at a library or she goes to school? She uh, she's in college part time. College and school. She, and she goes to um. She's going to school. Okay, she's going to part -time. school. That's what I'm saying. I mean, she's very quiet. Mm -hmm. I mean, she's good at school. Though, right? That's funny. Okay. And then, um, okay, um, um, okay, uh, but did you have to leave? Okay, well, the blonde haired guy, he's out on his own. He's traveling and stuff, isn't he? Yeah, well, he's, that's his job. Okay. So, so to speak. Like like a big old truck driver sort of FedEx kind of person or um no he, he sells he, he goes around in something that encyclopedias type deals well that's makes different a, yeah he makes a lot of money doing it because okay it pays it pays pretty good but it, it, he sells encyclopedias and then they arrive later on and okay well it doesn't matter okay uh, I'm just trying to see if I can pick up on it it doesn't matter to, okay at least I was I guess I was wrong in, in a way but I was gonna write about how they looked and all that stuff I guess I don't, I don't know let's see um. Okay, did your cousin, did you used to live with your cousin mm -hmm. recently? Uh, uh, did he die? Oh. Yeah. Uh, he died? Uh -huh. Your cousin? You lived with him and he died. And he was a smoker. And, um, right? Um. Did, yeah. Okay, did he, did he go, he, he was a young, younger? <sighs> died of age. Okay. Uh, he had dark hair, right? Um. It, yeah, it's it was brown, kind of brown. blackish. 
Yeah, like a like a brown, but not quite Indian color, but like a darkish brown, brown, mm -hmm. almost. And his eyes were brown, and uh, he, I mean, he was kind of young, right? Mm -hmm. For his age of death, um, and y'all would sit around in a dark room all the time, and smoke and stuff. I don't know about that. We'd smoke, but not in the dark room. Okay. It's funny though. Yeah, and uh. Uh, there's just people would come over all the time. Yeah, he liked being around and having his friends around all the time. Yeah. He, played, he liked to play the guitar for him. Uh, um, uh, with something with issues with sweepstakes or something? You could, you could probably see him on the internet. He plays the guitar and golf. Really? That's groovy. Okay. What? His name is David Allen Griffin Jr. Okay, well, we'll look that up. Yeah, it doesn't work on everybody, but uh, I think I'm losing contact, but I'm going to try again. <laughs> no, I'm just so tired, I've been walking around. That'll make a difference. It helps. You know? Some people who sleep, I can see through their aura, it opens up like black or something, and it, it shows me everything, but I need a person to confirm everything I'm seeing. I feel so much better when I get, more, when I get sleeping on it. Okay, yeah, yeah, I know. I've never been in a situation like this. It's weird, you know, it's weird. For me, because I usually try to take care of myself and, and not invade anybody's space or privacy, you know. And, right. And I, and I was in a bad situation because I didn't know what to do and I wanted help, but I didn't want to bother nobody and come out and say, well, you helped me. So what I was going to do tonight, if nobody helped me, just kept walking up and down. That until I just collapsed. No, don't what do I'm that. Do. I, I, More class. I didn't, know what, I didn't know what. I don't know what to do. This is all. Okay. Well, my friend, if you could stay there. In that I love to get high. Okay, but... your your third house, your ninth house is in spices, which means you yeah, I mean, you do high. drugs to go to sleep, and you wake up all routine like, and you wake up a uh, perfectionist and OCDC about cleaning. Is that true? Because your third house is in Virgo. That's your. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't like to live in a dirt, in a real dirty house or cluttered. Yeah. Well, hell yeah, good for you. I like Because your Mercury is also in Virgo. It's uh, analytical and critical and clean and OCC and organized and all that bullshit. Okay, so yeah, your Venus is in Leo and it's in the second house. You want people to have financial security and you're probably a money hiring gold digger and you want all the attention in a relationship and you're a narcissist. And you like it to be turned into a story and dramatic um, things. And your Mars is in Libra in the fourth house. You put all your effort into relationships. And um, your moon is in Libra, which means you have intoxicating, beautiful vibes. But you are embarrassed so easily for so no fucking reason. You're a hypocrite too, right? Well, I mean, ever since I got older now, I changed. When I was a young man, I mean, I was I was a fairly good looking young man, but uh, yeah, that's how your mother treated you. Like you were good looking and an an object. Yeah, she kept me underneath her thumb. She wouldn't let no one get around me. She spoiled me, and that's what messed me up as an adult. I think. Okay. So, I think anyway. But well. That's groovy. And your your purpose is to have a home and a family, because it's in cancer. And so that's what you lack, and you'll be having to get gain that through the rest of your life. You know, one thing I could never do. In the 12th house of spirit, and your spirit's in Gemini, the messenger, the feet, communication. Wow. Okay, this is your 8th house of death. It's in Aquarius. It means... This is what they say it means. Um, I... I mean, like, it says, an unexpected inheritance, like you inherited somebody's disease or some shit, or like Alzheimer's or some shit and died, or you get an ex unexpected inheritance from somebody who dies, like your dad? My dad did die and leave me here. Because your Saturn was an Aquarius, so that must mean his death. That's what it shows anyways in here, because of death, because of Aquarius and his Saturn Aquarius, but your Saturn's in the seventh house of relationships and... You can get relationships, get married, and then it'll be taken away from you if you're a relationship. It's you have so many opportunities to have relationships because of this exactly. placement, but it's taken away from you because you are a not a perfect uh, partner for that person. For some ridiculous reason, you have to learn lessons on having a perfect marriage and relationship. Even if you have the opportunity, it, you think it's all good, and it'll be taken away from you. So have you been divorced like four or five times or something? No, I mean 
There you go, twice. That's fucking enough opportunities and waste of money. Uh, bullshit. Yeah. So, you know, there's your crown challenge. And your 10th house is in Aries. 4th house is in Libra. Well, that's the story of, that's the glory of love. Your Pluto's in Virgo. You like to isolate yourself by doing chores and stuff or something. And I don't really know. I like to stay busy if I can. Busy. Or you, I like to have something to do. Um, to achieve um, and live to your abundance, sell things, oh, whatever. She's been huge. She's been sweet. I think. I think so, don't you? Groovy. Okay, well, I guess we're going to go to my friend's house, okay? Yeah, okay, let's go. Let's go. Bye. Let's go. 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 Let's go.
And he was readable psychically. So that's it. Now I'm going out of here. Go Taking some of these strands or something. It's super fun and nice. This is the best place for a homeless person. Ah, that was cool. I cannot believe I just did that. And it's Halloween now. And I've got to go. Because I'm going to listen that. Okay. I'm totally driving down the street. Sing a new one. Okay, like, uh, yeah. You're not allowed to know where I live because my boyfriend's gonna be home soon and he's gonna kick both of our asses. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't mean to be hard, don't mean to be rude, but you gotta get away from where I'm staying because my lover is mean and the, I'm keen, kind, and everything to rebind. What should I have done to? so I can actually see the, through them as I read and I read and I read as I wanna see, wanna see, wanna see right through for you all to see God cause that's what you do when you find out you have these senses of psychic abilities and you do and you dedicate your whole fucking life your whole fucking life to seeing where I can find God through all of you, all of you, obviously, it would be the biggest word, because like totally, even that angel said, I'm going to show you a testimony of God, and that you have good chambers, whatever the fuck that means, I got good, good chambers, whatever the fuck that means, it could be spiritual chambers, like communication chambers or something, or it could be, um, where is my costume? Turn the radio up and I'm singing this song. Halloween is love and it's costumes all around. Way, I'm so excited. I'm gonna have to put this on a card and revive a bunch of other people into the astrological atmosphere. The stars talking from within. And out. Uh, there's a car staring at me with its headlights. I wonder if I'm going to turn this off. I guess so. But hey, there was a stink, tiny, lightning, 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 lightning. Okay, what else did I say? Um, trying to get back in the psychic realm. Where do I go? I have to exercise my psychic abilities. Who is? It is the message for me. I want to be the messenger. Again and again, everyone want their messages, wouldn't they? Everyone would. Everyone wants. That's what they don't even know that they wanted to want this. They don't even know. They have got to want to want this, because that's what I want the most. And everyone to want it to get it again and again. And they don't even have to want it to make me give it to you. The knowledge of what is around you and your atmosphere and your energy in your whole entire life and existence and whoever's around you that you've ever existed with, even encountered with, like, hello, I get to look through everything and it's really fun to tell your story. Is that what we call your, your story? You are walking around amazing, legendary, um, ultimately a product of your story of your whole entire life and other people's life, their whole entire life that was connected with yours, okay? Even if they were just part of the past, I can see them really, really fast. You just stay around long enough to get and receive the mission, thy messages, duh. And so, party like a rock star, party like a rock star, you'll get me to talk your head off about what I see and that's what you get. And you say yes or no. And then I'm like, wow, whoa. And then it's like, woo, woo. And I can see through, through. And so can you too, and too. And we'll get in the same mind boat. Okay, okay, flowers. I've been up for hours. Cause there's one to do. Wake up, flowers. I've been up for hours.
it's cause it's Halloween. And it's like 515. And no, it's star 23. Oh, I love this thing. I love you. Love you now. And I love you then. And I love you. Love you. Love you. sound good. Fuck this. Fuck your love. Get it, get it, get it, give it, give it away now. What can I do without you? Nothing much but fear. Oh, like, oh, I want to be a dead deer, a fucking deer for Valentine's Halloween day. I want to dress up that way. But it's not gonna happen now. My socks are on the ground. I need to fucking get out of my car.